Disco in our hearts. Kirsi, I like the way you said it, that you always like this song. And certainly we do. And uh, Aguri, Aguri Stefano for your birthday, because there are some important people to say hello to and uh, wish them well for their birthdays. And one of those was two days ago, Stefano Zandri with the course the artistic name Denaro and he was in Sardinia and uh, I have seen the footage of 
Oh, Giuliano, but also including Scotch, including Tracy Spencer and Gazebo. I like it, really, Giuliano. Grazie veramente perché uh, so, sono felice. Because if you're not there and you can share those videos, even though it's a short thing to watch and to listen to, it's very nice. So if you want to see what I mean, go to Facebook and uh, go to the pages of Giuliano and uh, Giuliano Frau. And he is very, very keen on uh, posting those little things that is of course now part of the memory of so many others as well as we had this wonderful memory of Rimini and Riccione and nevertheless of course it was really something terrible that Mauricio lost the footage of Friday and he he is always taking care of such things but you can't help it when the things that you use like uh, it could be the camera but this time it was the little disc the little electronic thing inside that has been broken so shit happens we say but we are very sad of course and well he is the one the first one to be sad because also with uh, some uh, bad weather he had some damage also in his home including uh, electronics so we are in our hearts with Maurizio but we go on we are strong tonight I have so many vinyls It's usually that I say that we are full as an egg, but this time it's really true because I have written down all and uh, we have so many things to do. Very wonderful things, magical things, um, unique things. So be prepared for the things that we want to let you listen to. But of course, with Dan Harrow as the first artist and with Lambi, well, Marcello Catalano, as the second one, You can imagine that we start with the well-known tracks. And uh, this is something that doesn't need any other introduction than this is Lambie with another game. Out of the year 1986. And this version has been pressed on Out Records 3076. And you hope you enjoy this one in Eventi d'Azzurro.
such a nice one. Also to sing along with last week. You remember, I told you, sometimes in the hall or a staircase or a bathroom, you can just uh, live out your fantasy <laughs> with singing. With singing. <laughs> And, uh, well, I hope indeed, well, talking about the bathroom, that Christopher has restored the, the warm water, the boiler, because he said otherwise he should take, or he could only take a cold bath. And he was just uh, fantasy, uh, fantasizing about uh, having a bath with a good cognac in his hand. Well, I hope indeed that you could realize that fantasy, uh, Christopher. Um, well, I have something to tell to you, because also the first record I played always by Dan Harrow was in the version of Mark Hochkaber. The Remark, the 80s touch. And uh, furthermore, we can have again something to say about and to listen to Annalie Gordon and Danny because, you know, Mark Hochheimer is strongly involved in the new project with the new label. And uh, we, of course, we want to push that news, we want to push that song, that record, because it deserves more attention and all the attention that it can get. And, uh, well, you know, they are lovely people. Annalie and Danny are lovely girls and Mark is a good guy and uh, Edwin Horderweg is a good guy as well. And then the producer also. Well, uh, Later on, we can tell you all about it. First now, we go to uh, a song that has been Well, special to me always because it has been well produced and Marco Tansini did a good job with uh, Simona Zanini of Martinelli later on also in the show. Um, but, and I have to tell you something about it because this is something that I should explain why I had chosen it. So, take a look. I have here the promotional copy, the test... No, it's not a test press. It's a, a kind of a like a jukebox single, so to speak. It was a promotional thing of the record company EMI because, you know, the original vinyl that I'm playing right now at the moment is this one with the cover you already have seen on the internet before or you have it in your collection, Lancelot. This one is the promo with some more tracks on it, like the Baltimore song the living in the background and on the flip side Gat Nevada, the sex sister and another Italian artist so it's wonderful to have something like this in your collection but listen to this, this is Lancelot Valador
Today in Holland is the national day of castles. You can see i borghi in Italiano. Um, you can visit the castles if you want because they are opening doors, uh, well, in a big quantity, in a great quantity. And maybe you did visit if you're living in Holland to do so. That was my motive to select this Lancelot. It's referring to the, well, the living, the life on a castle in a, in a fortress. Valerie Dorn was singing about it and uh, it was a Mirac 320. And you know, with Mirac, you have to read it in the reverse. So it's really 023. So it's that's the, the 23rd Mirac production. And if you don't believe me, it's written on the sleeve, sometimes also uh, engraved in the vinyl, so you can always see which Merak production it is. But remember, you have to read it in the reverse. Um, well, enough said about the castle life, the national day of going visiting castles in Holland. Let's go to a guy who has really deserved as a knight of the music, as a, a Belgian guy going to Italy singing so many tracks and sometimes not under his own name and it could be a shame but uh, I think we all can recognize the voice of Jimmy McFoy including this one we have selected and this one is from 1984 I can't stay without you and we without you Jimmy really
artist Antoine Jimmy McFoy really really is this was one of the first songs that he recorded and uh, 1984 we are talking about and uh, the WMB was the label Walter Marino and Mario Boncaldo these are the initials that they used for the WMB and this is Margareta Margareta Ton and we want to dedicate this one to the mama of Arek Margareta La prima nota d'estate from the year 87 and it's a rarity on a single just for you This one on a 7 inch myself in my collection, but I don't. This one is from the internet. I saw the <laughs> announcement on Facebook and I thought, well, this is something interesting. And I immediately thought about the mama of Arek in uh, Rome, Margarita. And she's a lovely woman and uh, married to Darek, the papa of Arek. So then the circle is round and we have had this wonderful thing going on with a very extremely rare seven inch song uh, played on your favorite radio station Radio Stadenhaag. My name is Marcello, we have Michiel, we have Mauricio and as a special guest, well not announced, but it's Menno and he couldn't have the, he wasn't present yesterday night in the Sunday Night Live because he was having a, a birthday celebration of his uh, mama and that's why he, well, of course, he should attend to that one. Nice of you to listen to us and to be present in the live chat. 27 people are matching now and having feedback to us. And I really am proud of that quantity of people. And I like 
what I'm reading. Sometimes I take the opportunity to write something down myself. But thank you anyway to be there and to to chat with each other because this is what it's all about. The Italo family with the best of the music. Like this one, the Victoria by Martinelli on the Moonray record label. 1987, the same year as the Margarita song. Moonray 710, Eventi d'Azzurro. Especially for you. And coming up, the dance man in Italy with Prezioso featuring Marvin. Tell me why on the Big Sale label by We. Oui. Yes. Gianfranco Bartolotti out of the year 99. So stay tuned, we have so much more! This wonderful, talented woman is a very, very nice person indeed. Now, of course, in real life, together with Aldo Martinelli. And they are both very nice persons to, to speak to and to have a chat with. Moon Ray Records, I told you. And let's hope that soon there will be some new material in the same style. And of course, it may be then in the new generation style. But always with the 80s 
touch, so to speak, like uh, Mark Hoogkamer did with Always and also with Roberto Torati song. And we are desperately waiting for the vinyl coming out of Italy. I cross fingers for the end of this week. I'm not sure if, if it's realistic because, you know, so many things go, well, not really wrong, but we have to wait. You have seen the people waiting in the airport for just a trip in the aeroplane, not only in Holland, but also in the, the UK. Uh, it's, it's something going on in the world that's a bit weird. And we have to wait for the vinyl as well. And that's a kind of luxury maybe but still we need those vinyls to put here on the turntables and of course to get them to you as a fan of the sound and the uh, promotion of the italo disco sound made in italy do you remember this one tell me why you are love ago in 1999 the 6th of June so actually today so many years back I had put this one as an Italian mystery number one in the Eventi da Zura charts Bye. 
what track it is. And exactly on the 6th of June in 99, I had it in the chart as a newcomer, as a well record that could draw the attention of the people. And it really did. But it's also featuring Marvin. Tell me why. And this one, well, maybe it doesn't need any other introduction. Listen. Meeting Morgana in the year 2000, maybe a lonely night, and they did it for Mauro Farina, Giuliano Crivalente, and all the staff of Saifam in Lugagnano on the 21st Century Record Label. Number 275 by Joe. They did so many releases, and this is just one of them. Maybe a lonely night. Ken Laszlo meets Morgana. Here at your station, I told you, Radio Stadenaar, never forget, Eventi d'Azzurra, each and every Monday night, 9 o'clock sharp, we have the best and the most wonderful music made in Italy. Wonderful. I dare say, and I dare you, that I'm right, I'm correct, that each and every song Ken Laszlo is singing, it's really with hit potential. It's really something special because his voice is unique and he is a very, very good singer. Ken Laszlo, in this case with Morgana, maybe a lonely night. And the 21st century label, I told you, with Mauro Farina out of the year 2000, if you want to look for this on the internet. So, well, referring to Mauro Farina and Giuliano Crivalente, the whole FCF staff, Farina Crivalente in those days, Fadinger, Florian Fadinger, he was responsible for the birth of the Flea record label. Flow, Flea Records, Flea, we said. Um, and this is the Alpha Town. It was an invention, well, a bit referring to the Alpha recordings in 
Japan, Alpha Records, but also a kind of a joke with Aleph Town, Alpha Town. So it's really referring to the sound of Giancarlo Pasquini, the Aleph. Mandy Energy, Amanda Rem. She is talking about this also in a special video she recorded in 2019. Later I will refer to that one as well in the show, in the second half of the show. Because now she is in a Zoom meeting and she can't be disturbed and listen to the radio at this very moment. So that's why I'm going back to that story later on. But this is the Asia record label, also well chosen of course, you know the stories. 1050 is the code out of the year 89, October 89. Hot stuff, Alpha Town. and the hot stuff, but it's really the hot stuff as a title chosen for this Asia production on the label Asia by Farina Crivalente. Alpha Town, 89 was the year of the release. I have to say something about the Latromondo Studios because they were so very famous in the 80s because they did something with uh, spectacular things to entertain the people that they were famous also in Italy 
to visit not only in summer holidays but also in the weekends. And uh, well, I think when maybe you have seen such things on the internet, heard people uh, stories tell stories about it, it's really something. It has been really something special. There has been a movie, a motion picture of the Latromondo Studios. Well, under the name of Jocks, they presented the film starring Tom Hooker and, of course, The Creatures. Um, I have here the album of the original motion picture soundtrack. I have to relieve, release this one from the plastic. I will show. Oh, I can't. I, I will reveal it later to you. That's better because we have the video present. That's why. Okay. Um, listen, you are going to see, you are about to see the official trailer of that Jocks movie. And I think it's wonderful because first one, it's really something really Italian. If you have been in the 80s like I was there, you really recognize so many things, the surroundings, the way of speaking, the, the, the way they did uh, record and had the footage of the video. It's really Italian, it's really something special. But on the other hand, it's also something special to see Tom Hooker, for example, in his uh, <clears throat> younger days, as we all were younger. And um, you can see also some of the images of the interior of the Latermondo Studios. We have been there now, uh, and it's, of course, in the days of today, not so very important to have a spectacular uh, interior. In those days, it was important to entertain the people with tumbling down waterfalls with um, the, 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 the girls running in the tube. The tube was still there, but now it's a black box. It's really something not really appealing to the, the disco atmosphere of the 80s. So please pay attention. Just forget about it. It's in Italian, etc., etc. But watch the little video. It's just three minutes and something uh, something more. So watch it and then you will please understand, <laughs> certainly understand what I was talking about. Here is the original trailer, the official trailer of the movie Jocks. Of je nou bewust of onbewust naar je radio luistert, met Stad Den Haag hou je contact. Elke dag, dus zet je radio gewoon op stad. Want van de allerbeste is er gelukkig maar één. Name up. 
the Altro Mondo Studios. And of course, what they did as a promotion of the discotheque with the motion picture and the original trailer you have seen now. I have here in my hands the soundtrack with the copertina, with the sleeve of those days. And I can tell you, of course, it has been also a big promo of the creatures themselves. Maybe one day presented as the new single in those days. The Believe in Yourself is over here. The starting from here, Aida and the inspiration. And on the B side, there's the battle drum, the band of jocks, Kano, Stephanie and Orlando Johnson and Trance. And uh, maybe I can play the Orlando Johnson later on also. And otherwise uh, I will do that next week because I have another Orlando Johnson in my mind as a new single with Dan Harrow. Um, But in these days it looked like that. And then of course with a very interesting print on the backside there was the special pressing for export only. Well, of course, you could buy it in Italy, but nevertheless, it it was something new in those days. And you could have this scene as a big, you could see this as a big promo in those days for the Latermondo Studios on the full-time record label. So I can't avoid playing in the creatures for you as a treat, as a gift, because in those days, this was the new single. And that's why I'm going to play it for you. And uh, I hope that you will like what you're going to hear. Here are the creatures.
Mark made by Menno. He said, yeah, usually as a DJ, I will skip the intro, the introduction in the slow because he wanted to have the power of the beat immediately. Uh, but you have to reckon that this is really a part of the spectacle that you could watch each and every night in the Latomolo studios. And of course, to please the romantic couples, they always started with Antonello Di Fino in this romantic, slow way. And then gradually with the beats, it has been, of course, the things that you like so much of the Italo Disco song. And we thank Mauricio Sanginieto. Sanji for creating this wonderful tune and more. He did so much more. I won't have to explain that to you. Of course, you could say the same about Turati Kiregato and uh, sometimes Mario Natale or Silvio Meloni. But in this case, Tom Hooker, of course, is really the artist. Remember looking for love. On the album, I play for you the Don't Give Up because... He was in the trailer as a young guy present in the Atomondo Studios with Russell Russell, the dark guy, and now he is singing solo. Here it is. Don't give up. You can understand what's in your hand when it slips away. You can love all night when it feels right. Everything's okay. Live in fantasy. Give up from the album released on a Baby Records, and uh, the bad reputation was the title of uh, not only a song included on the album, but also the title of the album itself. 1988 Baby Records. Um, then Harrow released another one with Orlando Johnson. The Shine On is just still fresh in our memories as a very good song, but with Patrick Juvet with the America song, they think to have another summer hit. And of course, to you to judge if it's really true or not. But I think it's really nicely done. So I hope that you will enjoy what you're going to see for the first time in our show, the America song by Dan Harrow featuring 
Orlando Johnson. Stay tuned because we have so many more vinyls to play for you and some really rarities as well. And of course the biggest ones uh, coming up also like the one system with life is very short. But first of all, here it is. The song by Den Haro featuring Orlando Johnson. Jij en je radio verdienen Stad Den Haag. Kwaliteitsprogramma's waarop je kunt rekenen. Dus zet je radio gewoon op stad. Want van de allerbeste is er gelukkig maar één. Disco sound invented at the end of the 70s and of course still used today. If you're watching and listening to Orlando Johnson, De Niro chose to be, let's say, the project manager, the one who uh, have started the project as you've seen and listened to right now. But he was on in Sardinia to perform live on stage and he was really good. Really, really good. I take a bow for him to be such a good live artist. Remember this, if you want to see the footage, just go to the internet and find it. And otherwise on the pages of Giuliano on Facebook. This is out of the year 1982. The double discovery on this American Polydor label. It's an American production. Boris Midney involved. And the old disco lovers really know the Boris Midney name. So enjoy this one, really old.
have listened to Can He Find Another One of the Double Discovery. 1982, the kick-off year of Radio Stadenhaag. We're going to celebrate 40 years of Radio Stadenhaag this year. And we intend to have an extended broadcast day on the 17th of September. And if it should change one reason or the other, you will hear it, of course, via this microphone or on the Sunday night evening or maybe the Tuesday or the Wednesday. Whatever, but you will hear it here, of course, the one and only Radio Stad Den Haag. Life is very short, one system, and of course created by Albertone Carpani. Something very special and uh, well I will refer to Albert one again just in uh, a few minutes 
time when we play a wonderful, beautiful song by Meccano. First, we go to Emily and Danny. Of course, Emily Gordon is the one that you are really recognizing as the voice of so many artists. And I was quite surprised now because there is so much going on between some people in, especially Italy, about the the voice of Annalie Gordon used for the Wickfield projects. It has long been a really big secret not to talk about this because it's still, uh, well, under the justice, uh, really official terms to use for the rightful use of the voice. But nevertheless, I have seen it now published on the internet, the voice of amongst others, or the, the the composer of the songs like The Rhythm of the Night, Annelie Gordon, and she deserves it. She's a wonderful, wonderful, well, wonderful person, but also a very, very good singer. Now in the company of Danny, with the composition, Mark Hoogkamer involved on the production of Ken Stewart, The One Night With You. sound of the 90s but it has been created today with big big respect to all involved and of course our good friend Mark Hoogkamer first but uh, nevertheless the artists the voices of the girls they do it Annelie and Danny remember this one it's the one night with you and maybe also a good idea to ask maybe the producer to have on Skype him maybe in the well, upcoming weeks, Ken Stewart, because it could be interesting to talk with him as well. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to talk something uh, seriously now 
for Rosangela and for Alberto. Because now and then, or sometimes uh, every day of the week, you can see a post by Rosangela missing Albertone like, well, like immense uh, emotion. But always with a good heart, we have put down the remarks that we sympathize, that we really love Rosangela. And of course, we will never, never stop loving Albertone Carpani. I had chosen, of course, also in honor of uh, Walter Bassani, a song by Meccano. And uh, the album, released in 1989, contains so beautiful songs that I had chosen one of them. But you have to remember, if you want to look for the Meccano album on the internet, it's uh, Le Ragazze Come Me, that's the title of the album, and the People in the quarry, also not only Nadia Bani as a lead vocalist, but also Clara Maroni, Tiziano Cavaliere and Erika Papa. She is there and it's really, it has been released on the DDD record label, the same where Eros Ramazzotti started. Or maybe you refer to Take a Moment by Cherry. It's a really wonderful, special record label. I had chosen for tonight, and I dedicate this one to Rosangela, Una stella se voi. And she's talking about the star in heaven. And she said, well, if you can light a star, I will know which one it is. Because if the love is so strong and so clear to you, you know exactly which star has been meant and the other person has lit for you in the sky. So I will just start the song very, very clean, so to speak, because you have to enjoy the complete song. Here it is, Una Stella Se Voi, here is Meccano.
what a wonderful song it is. It's, well, uncomparable, but it still is the Meccano of the Activate My Heart, Hypnotica. It's the same, but from the album Una Stella Se Voi. A star, if you want. And this one has always been a special memory to me because when I was with Albert I in Padova, it has been cold, it was with the Carnevale, and in the piazza they had built a stage with Italo artists out of the time stable and the media sound stable. And on stage was not only Albert I, but also Dukes. So I have seen them live. Wonderful! Can you imagine? Comet, this song live on stage in Padova with the cold atmosphere, the weather, but with the warm breath out of their mouths singing this song. And we could be in the background of Albatore Carpani on stage. It has been an honor. Enjoy this one. Here is Dukes on Time Records. <sighs> Wonderful! We are landing on the planet, there's a plane. We are ready for the traffic, burn the same. We are landing on the planet, to ride us going We are ready for the traffic, we're just a long space. The music says, wake up, the rain breaks the time All the wrong with the danger, reflect it down And the music says, wake up, without control All the wrong with the danger, I'll crease the down
Duke's song, Comet, has been the first solo composition by Giancarlo Pasquini. And he did it not with Donato, Dodo Bellini and Marco Manzi, but solo for Time Records. This one is a present for Mandy. Dear Mandy, because I know for a fact that she likes this song by Aleph, I'm on fire. She's talking about it on the internet, on YouTube, and I was very pleased to hear the things that she was saying in a funny way also. But this version of Aleph, Giancarlo, with the touch of Mirko Hirsch, is one of her favorites. This is Mirko Hirsch and you're listening to Radio Start Den Haag.
Production. Amanda, Mandy Energy, is not liking this song. She's loving it. <laughs> Especially for you, it has been a present just for you. And later on in the show, just let's so to speak, we have something special. I'm not sure what you're going to do. I'm going to play the vinyl first. Ah, ecco ci qua, Yeah. Because the other thing is something to, we have to introduce more properly because it has been something special with Romano Baez. First we go to Juicy Ravizza and she was 24 in 1986 when I bought the song and we can show you how she was looking like. Juicy. <laughs> Je hebt te veel gesopen. Uh, Juicy Ravitsa. And she was in 1986 one of the tre donne per estate. She was already Miss Cinema in 1984. This 
Juicy Ravice. And later on, she also made something with um, Farina Equivalente for Durian Records under the name of uh, Christina M. Not a very well known. We played thing it yesterday, tonight. Christina M. Exactly. Yeah. So that's uh, why we are united in this radio station. Ah, by the way, uh, Rosangela has heard, she was listening to the shows. And she heard what we said about uh, her, about Albertone, and she loved the song by Meccano. And we, of course, she said, we love the Satanaag crew, and we love, of course, and vice versa, Rosangela, and all connected to Albertone Carpani. Um, there is something special, because each and every time when I meet Romano Baez live, He is always referring to his connection with Holland and he is capable of singing something in Dutch. He's always starting our connection to say hello to each other with Op een mooie Pinksterdag. And that's a Dutch song. So better maybe for Dutch fans to understand that it's a very, very old song. I think it's the end of the 60s, maybe the early 70s, but it's very, very old. And um, uh, Op een mooie Pinksterdag is something that's really not Italo Disco, nothing to do whatsoever. But he is enjoying himself. This has an Italian guy. He's capable of saying these and singing these Dutch words, these lyrics of a Dutch song. And I was really always laughing because he is enjoying himself so much with that. So, on the Pentecoste, Pinkster in Dutch, Pentecost in English, I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, I made this kind of uh, hello, saying hello, uh, salute to Romano by singing the Op een mooie Pinksterdag, because it was really Sunday, the first day of Pentecost. So that's why I did it. And he was very original in responding. Very laughable, but okay, you have to understand, if you are a Dutch person, you can understand the response that Romano Baez is giving me with another Dutch song. Such a funny thing. And after that, we are going to proceed with the show, of course, with the Made in Italy, the sound of Rome with Cadans. But first, you listen to my voice singing to Romano Baez with the Mooi Pinksterdag and then in Italiano. And then after, you're listening to Romano Baez, what he was answering to me. So first, op een mooie Pinksterdag. Yes. Op een mooie Pinksterdag. Titi. Stop en zandwatte. Tiri tiri di. O voglia di andare giù. Dai, canta un po' con me. Siamo amici veri, abbiamo musica dentro di noi. Op een mooie Pinksterdag, ti saluto anche i tuoi. Ciao fratello, ciao! <laughs> so this was my version of the Op een mooie Pinksterdag, a really existing Dutch song, but with an Italian flavor. And of course it was <clears throat> a bit free to use it that way. And listen to what Romano Baez responded. Listen to this. Kom uit de bedstee, mijn liefde. Weet je niet, je bent al veel te laat. Marcello, ti ringrazio dei saluti. E ti auguro una buona settimana. Ciao Marcello, saluta Gwen, saluta tutti. Ciao. So, you've listened to Romano Baez. It's not Diamond Number, but it's giving the cheerful greetings to not only me, but also to Gwen and, of course, to Radio Stad Den Haag. So it has been so funny, but you have to understand it's something with the Dutch to have come out of bed stay, my liefste. <laughs> Sung by a radio man in those days, Rob Out. Going to Rome. You know, Mike Francis has always been... A f- well, a really wonderful artist to all of us, but it's a different sound of the music made in Italy. And this is, well, a bit like Toto. It's a little bit of Africa of Toto. Listen to this one. But it's uh, 1984, and it's called Back on Love by the group name Cadence. And Cadence 
has been produced by Paul and Peter Miccioni. Wonder what it can be. Could it be I've been too blind? Something's happened to me. Walking up and down the floor. Wonder what I can do. Who is it I'm sorry for? Maybe I think it's you. I'm taking a change in life. Ja, hij is tot aan het einde gegaan, Matje. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Ja, dat is inderdaad al... <laughs> We waren zo druk bezig met de video... tenminste de audio van de volgende die van YouTube moet komen... dat ik eigenlijk euh, aan de verkeerde kant van de tafel stond. Kan gebeuren, het is een live uitzending ook. We gaan even naar onze zieke boeg. Nou ja, zieke boeg. Ik wist het van tevoren eigenlijk niet eens, hoor. Maar Eddie Pareggio vertelde net dat hij een beetje een lappenband is... en dat hij wel een opkikkertje kan gebruiken. Nou, dat heeft hij al gekregen met gave muziek. Onder andere van Kadans. Kadans. Ik weet niet of het uit kan spreken, eigenlijk. Dance. Boe. Deze is leuker voor. Etje. Want we hebben dit grijs gedraaid. Via de jukebox. Bij de Rainbow Bar. In uh, Rivazura. Wat hebben we daar een gave tijd beleefd. En Betty Villani. Wat onze, even, <coughs> onze favoriete artiesten zeg maar. Zo lekker om dat nog eens een keer op te zetten ook. De Noé voor Toe was toen de hit in 88.
time. <laughs> Betty Villani, didn't wait for two in the special maxi single version that we played for you. I think it's time now to please Fabrice Legrand because he's always very nice in giving suggestions via his pages on Facebook. And now I thought, okay, he has suggested a wonderful song by Stylov. And I never played it in my show. So I think it's high time to correct my attitude because this is a really nice one. Now Close Your Eyes is the title of the track featuring Naoki. And it's really the wonderful Italo Disco New Generation style. So grazie, merci, Fabrice, pour questa cette suggestion. Spy Love featuring Naoki. Now close your eyes. <sighs> Wonderful Italo Disco track.
I didn't invent it, but I like it. Really, I do. Style of featuring Naoki. The now close your eyes. And indeed, Amanda, I have my cheat sheet. <laughs> Because I don't want to disappoint anybody. I have written down so many things like suggestions and requests and birthdays that I don't want to forget anybody because I feel a bit ashamed if I do. So that's why I write it down and I really have to do something about the birthdays as well. Well, uh, George Aaron at the moment listening to this radio show together with uh, Anita Campagnola as she's really fond of the words song by F.R. David and he said could you please play the song in your show if it's tonight okay if it's next week it's also okay but of course when somebody as dear as Giorgio is asking me this we should do it right away because it's late already here in Holland so what the heck we got to do it Anita we give you a big big kiss and hopefully you will enjoy what you're going to hear here is the of our David song words vaak geïmiteerd nooit te evenaren radio stop den haag George Aaron requesting this song for Anita with a big kiss from all of us here, but uh, especially from me because I feel really connected to those two. Grazie per stare amici. Um, Zilber is also referring to my cheat sheet. He said, I would like to read what he has written down, but it's not maybe so interesting, but it's all referring to the songs that I wanted to play. And of course, the birthday that I had written down, because there are some people having their birthday today, including Brian Eyes. So later on, 
I will come to that birthday of him with a special footage, video footage. So if you are still hanging on to this show, you will be rewarded by something very special. Maybe you have seen it if you are a big friend of Fabrizio Rizzolo himself. Or maybe you will see it in another stadium, uh, maybe next in the upcoming days this week. But nevertheless, it has been special and I promised myself to show it to you. And today with the birthday of Fabrizio, it's really something special to show it now in this radio show of Viventi d'Azzurro. After this one, the same song by Sophie, maybe also for Eddie Pareccio. Speaking of him, when he's not feeling too well, we were always very fond of the saxophone hearing, listening to in this song. Listen to Sophie. Giacomo Maiolini when he is still so much involved 
in the musical productions by that label from Brescia. In this case, it was the same song by <laughs> Sophie. And uh, we are thinking back to 1987. Now, we are going to the time of today because Brian Eyes is not only a well-gifted singer, but also an actor. And uh, I think now on stage, it's more important to him than being uh, a singer for vinyl productions or going on stage as an artist. We have seen him in Rimini Riccione, but nevertheless, he is also a very, very fine actor. And I'm going to ask your attention for the following. It's a footage of a video, it's a documentary out of the year 2007, but he presented this just a few years ago. And it's very special because he is the main character of the film. His dad, Papa, is also really the dad in the film. And the girl you see is Susie Amerio. And that's for Eurobeat lovers, Donna Luna, or other, that's for Flea Records, Flea Records, or Susan Bell for ABC. So you're going to see some important people if you like what you hear now from me saying that these are important people for the music scene, but also very keen in acting. So uh, you may have problems with the Italian language, but it's subtitled in English, so you can follow at least some of the story. And we're not going to show you all of the documentary. It's just the beginning to see Fabrizio Rizzolo as a very, very good actor. And of course, for me, as a good friend, un fratello, I can say happy birthday, tanti auguri, Fabrizio. And in, well, this honor, I will dedicate this to you and to all the fans of uh, your music and of course your acting. So it is a little bit of a different, difficult maybe title for some people, but Soltanto Chiuso Gli Occhi, I just only close the eyes, is the title of the film. Here it is with Brian Eyes, Fabrizio Rizzolo. Come che si chiama? Ernesto. Mi sembra un tipo un po' strano, no? Luigi, hai sentito quello che ho... Oh mio Dio. Non c'è più chiaro scuro Non c'è più contrasto Bianco e nero Quel che c'è È un silenzio che sale Che lo senti forte E poi non c'è C'è un angolo di strada Dentro il cuore in ogni mio C'è un passo dopo l'altro Ischemia cerebrale. Probabilmente rimarrà paralizzato. E poi per mangiare, non so, dice che forse gli devono mettere un tubo nello stomaco. Dice che fumava troppo, che era iperteso. Bastava tenere sotto controllo la pressione. (ride) Cazzo, si sa sempre dopo quello che bisogna fare. Magari resto io qui fino a stasera. Poi vieni tu, Marco. Se c'è bisogno, posso dare il cambio. Io resto qui. Anche stanotte. Io sto con lui. 
तुम्हें बोले थे के बाद by Fabrizio Rizzolo, Brian Eyes, and you have seen Susie Amerio. She is, in fact, Donna Luna and uh, Susan Bell, and the sister of Danilo Amerio, a very well-known Italian singer. And, uh, well, you know, I described my re- first words to Fabrizio that it's really impressionante. It's really something special because it's about life. When somebody is... Suddenly, just uh, without, uh, of course, um, having the faintest idea that it was going to happen in hospital, and it's his dad, then you can imagine that the shock in the family is great. There are so many things rushing into your mind and what to do, what to say, etc., etc., etc. It's not really a sad movie, so don't be afraid if you want to really watch the thing on YouTube uh, totally. But... Be prepared that this really the real life. This is the real thing. So I really respect Fabrizio for having shared this one with us on Facebook and also to watch uh, via YouTube. Grazie Fabrizio. I want to take this and call collocazione. I take the opportunity also to have some other birthdays because today is the birthday of Fabrizio, I told you, and also of Alexander Robotnik. And maybe we could do just the the last song for Alexander if we have some time for it. I have to check my list because I also had something in mind for Ace, for Christian Codonotti. Also knowing that Mandy is still with us and she loves the Eurobeat sound, so we can do that as well. So, first of all, the... 31st of May, it has been the birthday of Rob Felders, the founder of this radio station. Roberto Festari and James Knights was also having his birthday on the 31st of May. The 1st of June, Alberto Radius and Michael Halve. You know, crazy about Italo Disco, the, the book in English is about to be published or maybe it is already uh, been uh, pressed uh, well we will let you know as soon as possible and then we has to come to the radio station of course to explain it all with some new stories as well and some new photographs the 4th of June it has been I told you the birthday of Denaro the 5th it was of Ace Christian Codonotti the 6th of today I told you it has been the birthday of Fabrizio today and Alexander Robotnik, but also of George van Bornem, and he's a Belgian good friend and fan of the show and the Italo Disco. So, um, I think first now we are going to play a song by Brian Ice. He made it together with us for Eventi Records, and uh, Fly With Me is a wonderful title. A lot of Italo Disco songs has the, the word fly in the title, in the lyrics. So I think it's really appropriate to play this one by, here it is, Brian Ice. Makes you sad Your heart needs to cross the line 
Eventi Records Brian Eyes, Fabrizio Rezzolo and so great to work with this wonderful band he's yeah, what can I say to you I've repeated myself time and time, after time and time that we are one big family and if there's respect for the artists and for us as a promotional team and if there's friendship and love spread between the fans and not only the buyers of the vinyl but also the listeners to the radio you out there giving feedback in the live chat it's all about having this decent feeling and respect for each other then it's going to be okay and that's what I'm talking about with the artists, the fans, the teams, the radios, etc., etc. Um, I told you about Christian Cordonotti. He's working for Stefano Castagna production team. And together with Evelina Somenzi, he is responsible for so many good songs. So the three of them, Stefano, Evelina and Christian, they are really creating wonderful songs. And one of my favorites, because it's a beautiful, a little bit romantic one, is Melissa White and Ace with The Poison of love. So if you are listening to this once again, forgive me because it's beautiful.
up till the end. The beautiful Melissa White and of course Christian Coronati Aka Ace for this wonderful Stefano Castagna production. The power, the poison, not the power, the poison of love. Uh, Jay suggested that maybe we could do something about uh, Roberto Festari with the song of, of one of the songs by Garçon. I have to excuse because now I have to be really careful because not each and every song of Garçon I think is suitable for the radio. So uh, Jay, I promise you I will go to my archive uh, this week and select a Garçon song for you, especially next week. So um, you will hear a Garçon song, I promise you, because I, it, I think it's a good idea. So the last one we play tonight, and I'm looking to the watch of here, the, the clock on the wall, it's really something special. <laughs> 40 minutes after the closing time, oh my God. If a woman is uh, over time, due over time, <clears throat> that's a bit of a problem, a bit of a problem. Um, let's go to the jungle. Come into the jungle. It's a bit maybe in a double sense, but who cares? It's a nice one. It's Leonie Gain singing as a pretty baby for the high energy record label of Severo Lombardoni back in those days in 1990. So thank you for listening to the show for tonight. I will say something extra after the song. This project, Pretty Baby, coming from Rome, composed by Julio Ferrarin in 1990 for her energy record label, 144 for Severo Lombardoni. And the A-side, if you want to look for the song on the internet, or the vinyl on the internet, the A-side is called Voodoo Dollar. Voodoo Dollar. And we played now the flip side of this vinyl. Thank you for having me on your entertainment evening the Monday night here at Radio Stad Naar with uh, so many different songs. And thank you. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie. Yeah, thank yeah. you also. Uh, we have mentioned maybe some of the songs uh, here on the pile of vinyls in my Facebook post, but of course then you know that next week they will be scheduled, including the Garçon uh, requested or suggested by Jay. 
Montana from the United States. And thank you for doing so. Thank you for listening and for uh, having your feedback and your remarks in the live chat. And um, thank you, Michiel, for your technical support and so yeah. many other ideas. And of course, Maurizio for the pizza, for the drinks, and for all the other things. He is now also preparing something secretly in the tap 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 with Menno together. They prepare something very very special. <laughs> so it looks like that they are not really listening to the music, but they do, and they like the things that we played tonight. But in the same time. They are preparing something special. It's really, it's always so funny that if you're on the other side of the kitchen bar, you can see something very nice uh, developing out of the hands and the creative mind of Maurizio. Grazie Menno for your support and your uh, good ideas, including the one by, uh, you know, the maybe one day. And uh, next week we are going to prepare another show and... Michiel is filling you in about the other shows coming up this week, including the one that's not live there <laughs> by Herman. So the last words uh, are for you, Michiel. Ja, zeker. Thank ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bonne notte. Ciao. Nogmaals, thank you for the music. Ah. Dat was die onze Marcello Dan Zuro hier op je radio Stad Den Haag maandagavond. Deze alweer nog steeds de 5 juni van dit jaar. Tweede, oh nee, 6. Ja, heel goed. Dat weet ik toevallig. Morgen een optreden. De, vandaar dat uh, eerst Herman het zou opnemen in zijn programma. Uh, pre-recording, zo heet dat. Maar dat gaat helaas niet door. Op een of andere manier zal het niet gelukt zijn. Nou, Herman, die is er dan volgende week, denk ik wel weer... met wijntje, plaatje, praatje. Dus morgen gewoon lekker non-stop de hele dag door. Maar we zijn er natuurlijk woensdagavond weer bij je terug. En woensdagavond hebben wij die fantastische man weer. Die André den Hartog. Die weer allerlei leuke plaatjes, stap classics voor je gaat draaien... Vanaf 8 uur op de woensdagavond. Vergeet het alsjeblieft niet. Dan is het de Freaky Friday Night met de lekkere mixers erin. En op zaterdag hebben we Ingrid Elting. Je weet het, met All You Can Dance. En niet te vergeten de prachtige Harold Zwaardman met zijn remix. En wij zijn ook weer bij terug natuurlijk zondag. En zondag wordt een hele bijzondere dag. Met van 5 tot 7 een douchecom met erin een lijst van 1987. Daarna tussen 7 en 8 komt hij hier live mixen. Mark Hartman op Vinila. Laten we dat even vooropstellen. En dan wordt de avond nog een keer met hem gekoppeld. We gaan praten over het nieuwe platenlabel van Mark Hartman. Enzovoort, enzovoort. Dus dat hoor je allemaal nog de komende week wel een keer voorbij zeilen. Ik wens je vanaf deze week wel trusten voor zometeen. Ik zeg ook uh, ja, nou, uh, maak er nog een hele lekker gezellige avond van met uh, een blokje kaas en een beetje nog een wijntje erbij. Zoiets van gelijke strekking. Hey, uh, dames en heren, bedankt voor het luisteren en Stay tuned, 24-7. Iedere zondag tussen 5 en 7, Michiel van der Brugge in Douchco. Met natuurlijk een terugblik naar de Haagse flitsende 50 uit de 80's. Jouw douche vol met disco. Elke zondag tussen 5 en 7 op Radio Stad. Every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Central European time, we spin those old school dance hits. Italo disco and high energy from the 80s. www.radiostopdenhaag.no Live with your requests. Go to our website, click the box and mail us your request. Radio Stop Den Haag, every Sunday, live.